What I want to show you is how I can do blending in a mass model between multiple sketches. So my beginning point is to create some additional levels in the mass model that will let me control the overall size of the heights between sketches that make up my mass forms. So what I'm doing is putting in values. Um, I started with 24 and what I'm doing is putting in levels that are 60 feet apart. So these are not floors in the building, these are horizontal planes that are important to the, the form of my building. I'm going to draw a, a rectangle and I'm, I'll actually make it a square, I'll make it about 200 by 200. Um, I eyeballed that in here, I'm double clicking on the end just to make sure that I change that to 200. And what I'll do is I'll fill it an edge just to make it a little more interesting. So I'm picking those two edges and I'm actually going to drop that in there and change the dimension to say 80 feet. I'm going to take that sketch, so I'm not in a command, I hit the escape a couple of times to make sure I'm not. Picking the sketch, copying it to the clipboard and then pasting it to selected levels, which are levels 2, 3, 4 and 5. And then I'm going to make some changes to the actual sketch itself. So the first change I'm going to make is I'm, I'm picking on the top of my building here, the top sketch, and I'm going to the, the scale command, numeric scale, and what I'm going to do is come in here and say let's make that like 50% or 0.5. And then when, I've, when I pick this corner of my building, you'll notice that what it does is it reduces the size back. Now similarly, if I wanted, what I'm I can make other changes. So I'm picking the next sketch down and I'm going to go to the option that says rotate. I'll pick my first angle and then my second angle at 15 degrees. Now you see I'm moving to the left and then escape to get out. Next level down I'm going to do the same thing but move it 15 degrees in the opposite direction. So beginning angle and then 15 degrees back. Uh, I can also type it in, so I'm going to type in 15. So I've got these different sketches. Now the blending is that when I select multiple, I'm holding the control key, when I select multiple sketches like this, and then I say create form, create solid form, this is the form that I get for my, my building. The, what I had selected makes a big difference and you can see this if I undo to go back. If I were to do something like say um, just select the the bottom two sketches and say create me a form. You see I've got these planar faces if I pick the surface of that, and then the forms above this, sorry, the sketches above it, and say create forms, I get that. And if I pick this surface and select the top sketch and say create form, I get uh, the, the straight edges that I associate between just two, a selection of two. So, well, not straight edges. This one is this one is twisted. But, but the, the point is that the selection of the objects is what determines the final form of, on your model. And if you want to, you can pick forms that are in your model and you can say that you want to dissolve the form, which is like returning it to its sketch-like state. So when I pick those and say dissolve, this is me going back to the actual geometry. Uh, you'll see that it's still got there the reference point that was part of the of the model. So my point would be here that I can actually make multiple sketches and multiple forms for this blending operation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a, a, a say a service core of some sort. I, can, I want to make sure after I've started working with this that I always refer back to it to make sure I'm drafting where I think I'm drafting. So I'm going to place this uh, this 
uh, circle on the ground plane, let's say we make it something like 30 feet in diameter, I can select it, copy it to the clipboard, paste it to the lined levels, and what I'm going to do is um, I only want it on 1, 3 and 5. So when I do that, I can copy those shapes up. Um, I might make a change to the sketches. Let's say I just make that uh, 20 instead of 30. And let's say we balloon this out to say 40 instead of 30. But the point is that when I make my multiple selection of objects, so if I do control select these and say create me a form, I can get the this one particular form and then if I do the multiple selection that I had before of these shapes I could say create me a solid form there to, to get the, the building form that I'm interested in.